I went to high school at this place called Tampa Catholic in Tampa, Florida. And the reason why I bring that up is I remember one presentation specifically in one of our classes. It was a special presentation outside of class stuff. Like it wasn't about mathematics. It was about negative self-talk. And in this presentation, they were going through a bunch of examples, things like, you know, how do you deal with feeling like you're not good enough? Or how do you feel like you can't do it? And all I remember thinking was when I was in this room was, I don't get any thoughts like that. What are you talking about? I thought that was so alien that you would hear thoughts that you couldn't do something because I'm the exact opposite. How do you get rid of negative self-talk? That's what I wanted to talk about in today's video. And the short answer for how you remove negative self-talk is you don't believe it. You don't believe the negative self-talk. You got to keep that unshakable belief that you're good enough. Now with age and experience has come more self-talk. I'm not going to say that I've experienced no negative self-talk in my life. In fact, I experience it a lot more now. That was just my initial reaction when I was a kid of, of being introduced to the concept of negative self-talk. And maybe you're the same way. Maybe you hear about this kind of stuff, like people think they're not good enough, et cetera, et cetera, and maybe it doesn't resonate with you. But just know, it might pop up later in your life. Last time I experienced negative self-talk was when I went in to pitch Taplio. I was pitching Tom and Tebow. It wasn't called Taplio at the time. It was called Influent Leaders. And we were pitching them, me and Robert, and the negative self-talk that I had was right before I asked Tebow if he'd be interested in a partnership of adding new people. And the negative self-talk I had was, what if we can't deliver for these guys? What if uh, they don't want this? What if they say no? And I thought all that stuff. And I just sent the message anyway. I was like, hey, would you be open to a partnership? And then after a little bit, they responded back positively. But that doesn't mean the negative self-talk doesn't happen. In fact, the first point on this could be learn to live with the negative self-talk. I expect it at this point and I kind of laugh at it. You know, like if I'm about to send a cold email to let's say a billionaire, then right before I hit that button, I'm going to be like, uh-oh, is this going to burn my relationship with the billionaire? And then I'll hit go, you know? And then sometimes Mark Cuban gets back with feedback on your startup. Just something I couldn't say no to. <laughs> or I'm about to send an email to the list and I'm like, uh-oh, is everyone going to unsubscribe from this or think I'm spamming up? Oh, I already sent it. So I laugh at my own negative self-talk and I don't respect it. And in order to not respect it, I just think of other people in my life that I don't respect. And I can't say who they are without burning my relationships with them. <laughs> so think about some people that you don't respect in your life and then treat your own negative self-talk that way. You're gonna give me negative vibes? I'm not even gonna acknowledge it. I'm just gonna keep going. Which brings us to number two. Don't disqualify yourself. I don't wanna hear from myself that I can't do it. Let me hear from my customers that I can't do it. Let me hear from my customers that that was too far. Let me hear from my business partners that that was not the right move to do. Don't let myself talk me out of this. It's like when you're applying for colleges. Some people won't even apply. They're like, oh, I could never get in anywhere. And they just never will submit a college application. And some people submit to Stanford and Harvard and Berkeley and all of these big schools. And guess what? Some of them get into those schools as well. But the people that don't submit the applications aren't even in the arena. And so they're disqualifying themselves. Their negative self-talk wins. So instead of letting yourself disqualify you, let other people disqualify you. I'm going to send a cold email to a billionaire. If he thinks that I'm worth responding to, then my opinion of myself doesn't matter. I'm going to try to sell this software project to XYZ person. If they don't want to buy, then that's fine. But I'm not going to not send the email because I think I can't do it or I think I'm not worthy or this person's not on my level because that is letting the negative self-talk win. And then on that point, number three is take swift action. You notice what I was acting on before, right? It was feel the negative self-talk, take action anyway. Feel the negative self-talk, take action anyway. Oh, I shouldn't send this email to this person. What if it burns my relationship? Go, send it anyway. I shouldn't approach this girl at this bar. What if she says, no, I'm already walking over. I'm already, <laughs> I'm already talking to her. I shouldn't send this tweet. What if everyone freaks out? Oh, I already sent it. Take action to avoid the negative self-talk. The negative self-talk will be going in the background the whole time, but it's like your nagging parent that you don't respect. You know, like they're going to keep saying BS your whole life. Who cares? You know, I'm not, just not even going to acknowledge they exist and just keep going. 
And that's how you can be with the negativity in your own mind as well. How do you deal with negative self-talk? Let me know in the comments down below and I'd love to hear how you deal with it. Is it even something you experience? You know, some people don't even have an inner monologue. Some studies show that 60% of people don't have an inner monologue in words and they think in like feelings and colors. So I guess this advice is only relevant to the 40% of people that have an inner monologue in words, <laughs> which I, I don't even know how you experience that. But if that's you, let's say you're, you're thinking in colors and, and feelings and thoughts and stuff. Let me know down below, what's that like? And how do you deal with negative self-talk and do you even have it? And if that's not you, comment on the other people's comments and let's talk about this. That's crazy. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smash that like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.